Alrighty, uh, trying out the 1060 for the first time on the uh, newest update of Fortnite, Season 8, I think is what we're on now. Anyways, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a quick overclock using MSI. So first, I'm just going to run a game without any overclocking on, on all Epic, to show you guys the increase of FPS. Uh, the only thing that I don't recommend about overclocking to play Fortnite specifically uh, is that it does have a slim chance of crashing. Uh, I crash randomly after an overclock every once in a while. It's kind of frustrating because it will literally be at random when you're not even doing anything relevant and it will just shut off. It will just close the window. You have to open it back up. But I just want to show how good the 1060 can get with just a slight overclock. I won't do anything extreme, but I will show you a step by step of how to do it. So I just want to get into the game, show off the FPS. <clears throat> I was going to say my FPS seems low. Normally it sits at around 80 on all epic. So let's just do a quick little test. I'll land somewhere random. I've never even been to these new areas yet. I'd honestly be more excited if they just brought back the old map of Fortnite, like midway out when they first brought out Tilted Towers. I'd be more excited for. <clears throat> okay, let's just land here. Oh, we got bullets. That's all we need. Alright. Standing 83, all epic. Let's switch it all down to low. No. I changed that. 240. Okay. Oh, that was a drop. I just gave the game a second to load. So 240, all low, 240, 250, 260 there. So we'll say 240 on average. All right, so now we're going to close the game because you want to have a completely off, open up MSI Afterburner. Show you guys that I am using my 1060. I have both my cards plugged in currently, my RX 580 and the 1060 sitting at 65, totally normal. So what you're gonna do is navigate yourself down to uh, core clock, and then this is how much speed you're adding. So I don't wanna do anything crazy, so let's just do, let's do 144. That should be fine. So now to accept it, click the check mark. And if your computer doesn't accept it, it will crash at this point. So I'm going to leave that up. I'm going to reopen up Fortnite. Now let's keep in mind I was sitting around 80 frames I think on all epic and then 240 on all low. So let's see if by increasing the core clock of the GPU how much more FPS do we get. Do -do -do. Alrighty, switch this over at all epic. Vsync off, motion blur off, show FPS on. So we were getting 80 frames before standing still, 76 I would say. So let's just see what FPS we get now.
just wait till we get into the game to get an actual reading, because this lobby sits at a lower FPS. Looks like a 10 FPS increase would be my guess. Uh, see if I can remember where I landed last time. It was by there. There it is. Try to land in the same spot. So clearly higher FPS. Let's switch it all down to low. Uh, yep, about 50 FPS higher. Uh, we're sitting actually closer to 260. I keep switching. Starting at the exact same spot, I would say 250, 260. Yeah, so I just saw 300 there. So that slight overclock increased it by 10 FPS. Ah, crazy. At 280. Yeah, so there you have it. It's just a simple... Let's uh, check out the heat before I close off this. 76, so really not too much different. Frame rate. Yeah, it's increased quite a lot. Interesting. And there you guys have it. So just a slight increase of FPS. Increase the game substantially. Oh, well, there's a person going for that llama. Try to make friends. Why are you trying to kill me? Shoot the other guy! <laughs> Am I actually playing with the worst players again? Get a shot? 